Hi everyone, it's Peter here from Process TV. Sorry, I'm gonna do this video um, keeping the phone in my hand. The tripod is a disaster with the focus. Uh, this is just to explain to you how to connect the embedder to the internet and make sure that you can view it on your cell phone. First of all, as you can see here, it says connected on top. I've got one camera connected here at the moment. Uh, but it won't give you a barcode yet. If you right click and you go to login, as soon as you've logged in, you will see the barcode will appear on the top. And that's the barcode you will basically scan. Else, you can go to the main menu, info version. There's a serial number there that you can scan. Um, and then, yeah, well, that's two options. There's nothing more than that. Then here is the net detect. Make sure that everything is tested, show success. Else you can just make sure here that your DACP is on under your network. Under, let me just go back a few steps, sorry about it. Main menu, system, network, and then you will get a net test there that you can run. So then you can also see it there. So if it's online, then it will show connected here um, and lastly sorry i'm jumping around it will also show connected here under this setting here which is called net service it will show connected there and a third time <laughs> i do apologize it will show under the version also net status connected then you know everything is connected like it should be now we use the XMI, JFI or uh, XMI Pro app for this. I'm going to go over to the application now, scan the barcode and then show you how to set up the alarms and the triggering and everything needed. As promised, okay, here's the phone setup. You go to your Play Store or your iPhone Store. You can either use, you can see the free list of the JFI, XMI Pro or XMI. Now I usually use JFI. Let me just open JFI it's going to automatically log in let me just log out of it to show you what you should do in the beginning you won't have a username or password um, you can basically log in by local at the bottom uh, that little blue icon um, and then just scan the barcode um, as i was showing now but remembering then you won't receive alarms you need to register to get alarms when you click on register just agree there you enter email and then press on get code it will send you a code on the email enter that in then it will ask you to create a username and password which will bring you back to the screen i used test one two three four five just uh, for an example i'm going to delete that password just now then on your nvr if you go plus you choose nvr then you can click on that device serial number you will see there's your connected part like i've shown earlier on the screen and then if i go over there it will bring mm -hmm. up a barcode it will scan it from there or else you can go right click you go main menu you go info and you go version and it will have the barcode there as well mm -hmm. after that's entered you can change your name do anything uh, let me just make it home and then the password for your system that you've chosen in the beginning and that's it then you logged in uh, then you can see uh, I can have video camera this is my 3 megapixel DAR fighter camera outdoors let me just go back and then lo logically speaking I just want to get back here go to alarm Go to home you can enable the alarm notifications now and any notifications will show you under messages and it will come up the same as whatsapp notifications and facebook notifications as soon as any of the alarms are triggered on your system okay enjoy the rest of your day